Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to these United States. Thank you again. This is your host, Vic, speaking. And today we're talking about top 10 safest cities in the great state of Montana. So we're going all the way to the northern Rocky area. So we're going to go for number 10, all the way to number 1, like we always do. And please make sure you subscribe with a comment and a like if you haven't yet. And we are a growing channel. I will greatly appreciate that. All right, let's get to the point. We're going to start with number 10 in our list. And uh, we're heading to uh, Laurel, Montana. Um, this is all a very, very conservative state. Uh, you know, a very traditional American state. So we're going to have little towns. We're going to talk about little towns. And uh, we're starting with Laurel in our list. It's located southwest of Billings. The layback town of Loretz is along the Yellowstone River and is in a close proximity to both Yellowstone National Park and Custer Gallatin. Uh, the average price on home price here is $250,000. Uh, and the total population here is 6,849 people. The violent crime rate here sits at uh, 220, and a non violent crime rate here sits at 1,705. Laurel is above 105 above national crime rate. Uh, so compared to other cities in the U.S., it's a little bit higher, but uh, this is basically number 10 also as far as the safest city in Montana. All right, we're heading now uh, to uh, number 9. We're going to Libby, uh, Montana, and uh, we're moving to Libby. It has a population of 2,663. The violent crime rate here sits at 111, and the non-violent crime rate here sits at 2,742. Consider relocating to Libby for a spectacular beauty alone and enjoy picnics along the crystal clear water of the Kotonai River. The safe community lies beneath the shadows of the Cabinet and Perso Mountains. The median age for locals is 50, so you can own a home for just $100,000. So there you go, guys. If you want a small town, very, very, extremely low population, and a cheap house for $100,000, then this is the place for you. Uh, Libby sits at uh, 21% above the national crime rate. All right, now we're heading to number eight. We're going to the tech hub of Montana. So if you're into technology, this is the place for you guys. It's called Bozeman, Montana. It has a way larger population than the previous cities, or most of the cities we're going to talk about. It has a population of 45,121. The violent crime rate here sits at 216 and the non-violent crime rate per capita at 1617. Bozeman has become a great magnet for entrepreneurs as many tech companies are ditching Silicon Valley. Who wouldn't do that? Uh, the average home price here seems like between $800,000 and a million dollars. So yeah, if you have a limited budget and uh, you want something cheaper, it might not be the place for you, but if you have the money, then here you go. It seems like the reason why it's so expensive is because of the limited amount of area. Uh, I guess uh, it made you know inflated the prices of the homes. Anyways, um, uh, the uh, city of Bozeman is at twenty percent below national crime rate. So for being a larger city, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's pretty safe. All right, we're moving now to number seven in our list. It's called Miles City. Uh, Miles City, uh, Montana has a population of eight thousand five hundred and seventy-six. The violent crime rate per capita here sits at 200, and the non-violent crime rate per capita of 1,553. Miles City sits at 90% below national crime rate. Miles City is an ex accelerating town at the confluence of the Yellowstone and Tongu rivers. Rockles refer to it as a cowboy town with acres of vast badlands and wind-swept prairies. From museums to wineries, you can find many reasons to relocate to this safe community. Alrighty, now we're moving to number six, numero six. We got Dillon, Montana. It has a population of 4,244. The violent crime rate here sits at 373. The non-violent crime rate here sits at 513. Dillon, Montana sits at 62 percent below national crime rate so 62 percent safer than all the u.s cities so not bad at all guys parents seeking a great place to raise a family we will be happy to know that dylan school system racks 8.5 out of 10 so there you go guys we consider that and montana normal college puts it puts higher education at your at your 
fingertips. Locals are proud to showcase blue ribbon fly fishing, plenty of snow peaks for skiing as well as trailheads to national forests and world class hunting. So if you're you know one in both safe city with good great school, good colleges, and at the same time you enjoy nature, you like fishing, you like hunting, and you like snow, you don't mind snow and all that. Hey, this is a place for you, Dylan Montana. Alrighty, we're going to move now to number five. Numero cinco, we got Deer Lodge, Montana. Now the total population of 2,976 uh, 2, people. The violent crime rate here sits at 241 and the non-violent crime rate per capita at 310. Deer Lodge, if you're um, has a uh, below natural crime rate of 66%, so pretty similar to Dylan, just a little bit better. If you're one of the lucky ones to live in your lodge, you know that unemployment rate is practically non-existent. Happy residents probably boost that property crime is one of the lowest in the state. Here in this land enchantment, in land of enchantment, the medium home price is an affordable $113,000. Come on guys, where would you find that in these now nowadays? Okay, now we're moving up to Columbia Falls, Montana. Population 5,225, violent crime rate 146, non-violent crime per capita 1,246. Columbia sits at 34% below national crime rate. If you like, if you love the fluffy uh, snow, uh, then Columbia Falls is calling your name. Town averages 57 inches of snowfall annually. So here you go, guys. If you're into snow, you don't mind cold temperatures, and you don't like hot summers, there's a place for you because the summers here don't exceed the 80 degrees, making in the area the area perfect for hiking, snowmobiling, skiing, biking, and fishing. This small town, yet intoxicating town, also has an affordable meeting home listed. At under two hundred thousand dollars that's going to be false for you guys all right we're moving to whitefish montana it has a population of 7309 people uh violent crime rate here of 115 the non-violent crime rate at 1410 Whitefish sits at 31% below national crime rate. Whitefish borders the northern Rocky Mountains at the edge of the Glacier National Park. The Nordic Wonderland pro provides this Nordic Wonderland provides for steam lakes, river, mountains, and more. Local love spend the day skiing at a world-class Whitefish Mountain Resort. A piece of, the, of this town's real estate pie will run you almost around $400,000. There you go, guys. You get all this nature. You get all this, you know. Uh, winter wonderland a lot and the peace quiet safety, but at the same time four thousand dollars a piece eh? Yeah, can be worse than that sometimes All right, so we gotta go to numero dos number two. We're going to Glendive, Montana Has a population of 5232 Has a violent crime rate per capita of 214.3 And it has a non-violent crime rate per capita of 448 and it seems like the most common crime here uh, apparently is only property crime so a few people stealing stuff getting into homes but who wants to get into a home in montana especially a you know a red state people are armed to the teeth i mean that would be dumb right <laughs> glendale uh, sits at 64 percent below national crime rate this breathtaking small town sits between the badlands of uh, mocha Quisha state park and the yellowstone river the unrivaled beauty of Glendive Beacons Residence Outdoor. It offers an abundant of recreational activities like parks and areas of swimming, kayaking, baseball, and golf. If living in an idyllic wonderland is your bucket list, start packing. Another bonus uh, is uh, the cost of living is significantly less expensive than most other national U.S. cities or towns. So, right, number one. Finally, we're number one. We're going to uh, southeastern Montana. We're going to the quiet town of Coal Strip. It has a population of 2,446, violent crime rate of 172, and the non violent crime rate per capita at 387. Coal Strip sits at 73% below, below national crime rate. 73, not bad at all, guys. Really good. 
Whole Strip is a small town nestled in the Rosebud County, yet it appear on a radar of it appear on the radar of Sports Illustrated in the 50th anniversary edition. The magazine named this quaint township the top sports town in Montana for its wide variety of sport, sporting activities. The primary industry here are electricity production and coal mining. This safe, tight-knit community has a cost of living of 20% lower than the national average. All right, guys, there you go. We got the top 10 safest cities in the great state of Montana. If you like my video, please subscribe, leave a comment, and a like. Well, next day in our list is going to be Nebraska. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless, and uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. All right, guys, bye-bye.